Hey folks, what's happening? This is DJ Rockin' Rob, and today I'm answering one of your questions. Alright, so the question is, what base did I use for my Gobo projector? And I responded with, I used a pipe and drape. Right? Here we go. Pipe and drape. It's just a standard steel plate, inch and a half pipe with inch and a half oak clamp. So I found that um, I found that pipe and drape pole is really versatile. I use it for a lot of different things and um, well how I came to this conclusion was at, uh, at an event here let me show you at this event uh, one of the obstacles to overcome was uh, how do we pin spot the tables I knew that we didn't have uh, appropriate access to the ceiling so we had to come from the ground up And my first thought was, why not buy 10 foot poles? Like this. This is an umbrella base. It's pretty good, pretty sturdy. Stop turning. It's pretty sturdy. And this pipe is not, um, not pipe and drape pole. This is just inch and a half, or no, it's inch and a quarter EMT pipe. There we go. This is steel conduit EMT pipe. So, the reason I went with uh, pipe and drape was it's lightweight. After I'm done using it for the pin spotting that I was doing before, I can use it as pipe and drape. You know? I can use it for many things. So this is inch and a half uh, pipe and drape poles, whereas this is inch and a quarter EMT pipe. Now the reason I went in, uh, inch and a quarter is because electrical conduit is measured inner diameter, whereas pipe and drape poles are measured outer diameter. So, inch and a quarter inner diameter is inch and a half outer diameter. Oh. So there's the gobo projector I used for this event. And the base. Now, as versatile as, uh, as I keep saying that pipe and drape pole is, I was left with leftovers. <clears throat> I don't see any extension cords. Ah! Battery powered, sound active. Woo like it, love it. Really, really enjoy that. So, um, I was le I have leftovers, and this uh, this particular piece of scrap has uh, actually been quite useful. I've used it for several things. And, ooh, ooh, I got a good one for you. Here's a, we need some light. Eternal lighting, can you help me out? Give me some light right there. All right, this is my collection of 30 inch and a half oak clamps. Now, I very particularly enjoy O clamps versus C clamps because they, they don't tear up the pipe. You know, C clamps, you, if, if you're going to have any significant amount of weight on there, you have to, uh, 
you have to really crank down on the, the tightening bolt and uh, that can scar the pipe, deform the pipe, or just tear it up, you know? Yeah, I know. So anyway, oak clamps don't do that. Plus, I think that they have a, a much stronger uh, connection because it goes all the way around, you know? So it has, a, it has a, the ability to fight um, forces in this direction. Because when you hang anything off of a pipe, here, when you hang anything off of a pipe, you, the uh, the torque that you're receiving is in this fashion because everything is hanging out this way and the weight is hanging down. So if it was a C clamp, all that torque would be on the bolt itself and really digging into the pipe. So if you were using a thin wall tube like this, then uh, it could seriously damage the uh, the pipe. Now, this is not a piece of scrap. This is specifically a two foot extension. So now my eight foot, my eight foot pipe is now 10 foot tall. Look at that. That came in real handy. Um, for this event that I keep talking about, I knew that 10 feet was my objective height, and buying 10 foot pipe and drape poles were just out of the question. So purchasing, purchasing eight foot poles still gives me the flexibility of using it as uh, pipe and drape, standard height. Yeah, so there we have it. Pipe and drape more for then more useful than just pipe and drape this is DJ Rock and Rob saying thanks for watching hope you learned something and if you got any more questions don't keep them to yourself let me know I'll do my best to answer it catch you guys later